Welcome to your weekly airplane news update. This week we'll talk about another NPRM by the FAA. The Dallas Midair uh, preliminary has been released and we'll talk about the Mooney that crashed into power lines in Maryland. Let's get to it. Your first story this week is another notice of proposed rulemaking or NPRM by the FAA. Uh, this one is in the wake of the 737 MAX certification scandal. I'm sure you've heard about it. The 117 page notice of proposed rulemaking aims to get rid of the legal system that has all the loopholes and the regulatory gaps that contributed to uh, what happened to Lion Air and the Ethiopian airline crashes. Uh, the NPRM is focused on what's called latent failures, which are the failures that may not be apparent to the flight crew or the maintenance personnel, which is kind of a big deal, right, if you think about it. Now, here's a quote. Uh, with this action, the FAA seeks to reduce risk associated with accidents and incidents that have occurred in service and to reduce the risk associated with the new technology in flight control systems. Uh, the overall is directed primarily at Part 25 transport category aircraft. Your second story this week is an update on the Dallas mid-air collision that had happened between the B-17 and the P-63. Uh, the NTSB released a preliminary report and it has cited the absence of altitude deconfliction uh, guidance in the collision. The report says, and here's a quote, the Airbus directed both formation to maneuver southwest of the runway before returning to the flying display area, which was the designated performance area. He directed the fighter formation to transition to the trail formation and proceed near the 500 foot show line. The bombers were directed to fly down the 1000 foot show line. So we'll keep you updated as more information is released on this uh, tragedy. The final story this week is the preliminary, another one that was also released for the crash of the Mooney into power lines. Uh, the story gained national attention due to the extended rescue process. The pilot and the passenger get stuck in the crashed airplane for nearly eight hours uh, due to the life power to the lines. It also shut down power to a lot of people in that area. Both of them happened to survive the suspension from the power lines, but they were pretty seriously injured. Uh, the report shows at one point, and this is kind of crazy, Crazy that the aircraft descended as low as 475 feet MSL. The field elevation is 539 feet MSL. So at one point it shows that they were actually lower than the field elevation. The uh, NTSB uh, preliminary suggests that the airplane and the altimeter were working correctly and that the pilot uh, made an error and that's what is to blame in this case. So we'll keep you updated if there is anything else that is released. And that's it. That's all I have for you this week. We'll see you next week. You have a great weekend.